This isn't a tournament, this is real life. Okay, be honest. How many of you started practicing your karate after binging Cobra Kai? I think mine's going pretty well. I only broke three fingers while trying to break a board in half. That's progress. Anyways, Cobra Kai is awesome, and Season 3 promises to up the ante in every way, as it looks like Johnny and Daniel will actually team up to take down the evil Kreese. But will they be alone in their fight? Or could the next Karate Kid, Julie Pierce, show up to help out? Now's the perfect time for it, after all. Just how could Julie make her grand reappearance, and how could she be the secret weapon against Kreese? Well, let's get into it right now. Daniel LaRusso may be Miyagi's most famous student, but there was, in fact, another. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Just because Daniel's story after The Karate Kid Part 3 was over, and he really had to get into that car salesman mindset apparently, doesn't mean Mr. Miyagi didn't train any other students after him. That's the basis for the next Karate Kid. Because of Miyagi's relationship with Daniel, he grew to be more open and less solitary. It led Miyagi to travel to Boston to receive a presidential honor for his service in World War II. But once he got there, he came across another troubled teen, Julie Pierce played by Hilary Swank. One thing leads to another, you know, as most of these karate movies do, and Miyagi takes her on as a student, teaching her his famous special martial arts style, Miyagi-Do. Julie was a vastly different student than Daniel. What? And the way Miyagi connected with her stood in stark comparison to Daniel. But in the end, everyone walked away happy. But here's why she's so important to the Karate Kid franchise. She represents a new side of Miyagi that Daniel potentially doesn't know about. With the TV show Cobra Kai, there has been a lot of questions regarding the canon surrounding the next Karate Kid. Were they going to acknowledge that actually happened? Or were they just going to say the first three Karate Kid movies were canon and everything else was just a fun fever dream? The producers seemed to give a definitive answer when they said every single movie Miyagi appeared in was canon, which means Julie Pierce is still out there somewhere, possibly with more knowledge about Miyagi-Do that even Daniel doesn't know. And here's why that's so important. For two seasons now, we've seen Daniel struggle to continue Miyagi's teachings and impart in his students the lessons he himself was taught. But that had its own consequences. Due to Daniel's inherent bias toward Johnny and everything he was trying to do with Cobra Kai, it clouded his judgment. And that led to disaster in that brutal, all-out karate showcase in the second season finale, which turned that high school into a full-on battlefield. After the tragic accident with Miguel, Daniel is feeling a little lost. His wife tells him he needs to shut down his karate dojo, and the trailer of season 3 sees Daniel traveling to Japan to presumably learn more about his mentor Miyagi. And this is where Julie can re-enter the story. We don't know what she's been up to since her movie, and don't even know if she continued with Miyagi-Do, but if she has, that opens a ton of new doors. If she's been training students in this special defense-focused karate, then she could be vital in helping Daniel snap out of his funk by offering a new perspective. Because doesn't it feel like Daniel has been missing something in his training and teaching? Daniel actually just doesn't like Johnny bringing back a karate dojo and style that promotes bullying and toxic masculinity in his eyes. Daniel has been trying to teach the kids in a way that honors Miyagi, but the fact of the matter is, maybe Daniel doesn't know Miyagi as well as he thinks he does. That's why Julie is so important. She knew Miyagi potentially on the same level as Daniel, and could offer some valuable insights when it comes to Miyagi-Do. It's a whole different thing to learn more about Miyagi-Do straight from Miyagi's other student. Cobra Kai, the show, not the dojo, might need Julie. But even if Julie is busy somewhere, aka maybe Hilary Swank would want too much money or would be hesitant to return to an early role that was a critical and commercial failure, there's still someone else who could teach Daniel more about Miyagi-Do. And that's Chosen, the main villain from Karate Kid Part 2. Although that movie portrayed Chosen as an even bigger villain than Johnny Lawrence in the first movie, he was still a Miyagi-Do stylist. Maybe that's what Daniel needs at this stage. Miyagi-Do is all about defense, but maybe he needs to talk to someone who can take the style and be a bit more aggressive while still remaining true to its essence. Because there's no doubt about it, Chosen was too crazy in the second movie. He actually wanted to kill Daniel in the end, but after that defeat, 
has chosen calm down in the last 30 years and grown to be more honorable? Possibly. The trailer sees a reunion between Daniel and Chosen in Japan. I'm not expecting the show to go full Johnny Lawrence and suggest Chosen was actually the good guy in part two, but I think the show can show a Chosen who has regretted his actions in the past and has worked to become better and more honorable. Here's my prediction. Daniel will see how much Chosen has changed over the years and realize that if someone as murderous and horrible as Chosen could grow to be better, then maybe Johnny can have changed too. Daniel's reconciliation with Chosen will help Daniel realize that he needs to team up with Johnny to take down Kreese. I think that sounds fitting, don't you? Is it too much to ask for Daniel, Johnny, Julie, and even Chosen to team up together and take down Kreese in an epic brawl? Probably, right? I don't know. I think that would be pretty epic. It's probably a good thing I'm not a writer on the show. I'd get too weird too fast. Anyways, thanks for watching Screen Rant. See you next time.